Broadcasting Corporation. Here is the national news by Davida Gaba. First, the headlines. Over 100 tourists from 10 countries arrived in Sierra Leone. College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences celebrates its Foundation Day, marking 28 years of existence. The second phase workshop of the Sierra Leone National Action Plan commences for councils in the north and western regions. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. Over 100 tourists from 10 countries have arrived at the Cape Sierra Jetty in Freetown. The tourists are in the country to see monuments and relics and other tourist attraction sites. According to Minister of Tourism and Cultural Affairs, CDA Tunis, the tourists are on a visibility study for possible investments. While in the country, the tourists will visit 13 countries in West Africa. The College of Medicine and Allied Health Science Commerce, University of Sierra Leone, has celebrated its Foundation Day at its Kosotan campus in the Western Rural District, marking 28 years of existence. The college is the main medical, nursing and pharmacy school in the country. The 28th Foundation Day celebration of the college witnessed tributes paid to the founding fathers of the institution. Since its founding in April 1988, the college has produced several doctors, nurses, laboratory technicians, and other health workers from its four faculties. In his presentation, on behalf of the acting provost, an alumnus of the college, Colonel Dr. Fodisa, an associate's professor, recalled the college's achievements in contributing to the human resource development of the country. Dr. Fodisa noted that on the 2nd of May, Commerce will commence Master of Public Health course. He emphasized that there is a need to scale up training, pointing out that Sierra Leone needs around 3,300 doctors. He called on government to retain the available graduates of the college to narrow the gap in order to improve on the health system. Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Sierra Leone, Professor Ekundaya Thompson, spoke about the achievements of his administration in terms of developing the constituents' colleges of the university. He spoke about plans to expand the Ajay Crowther Amphitheater with more facilities, the five million United States dollar story building at IPAM, among other development projects. You are listening to the national news from the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. Over 10 million Leones worth of food and non-food items have been donated to two orphanage homes at Kleintown and Newton in the Waterloo Rural District. The items were donated by the Knights of St. John of the St. Anthony's Parish Brookfields, Freetown. The team leader, Knight of St. John, Major Usman Anthony Amara, said, As Christians, they thought it fit to donate to the less privileged children. He called on them to use the items for the intended purpose. The proprietor, Newton Children's Center, James Amara, commended the Knights of St. John for the gesture. The second phase workshop of the Sierra Leone National Action Plan has commenced for councils in the north and western regions at the Hill Valley Hotel in Freetown. The aim is to implement the local guidelines of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 and 1820. The workshop brought together participants from the relevant line ministries.
Lead coordinator Dr. Nana Pratt said the objective is to ensure gender equality, gender equity, and gender empowerment and women's inclusion in governance and decision making processes in the country. A representative of Global Network for Women's Empowerment, Mavic Cabrera Beleza, said the power of women are more visible in their contribution to peace building and development. Women representative Mary Okobo said peace is not about the absence of war but the existence of citizens freedom she assured the readiness of the united nations women to support the cause of women in sierra leone Mayor of Freetown City Council Franklin Body Gibson assured local councils and their partners to continue to align their district development plan through the United Nations Resolution 1325 and 1820. Minister of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs, Dr. Sylvia Olaika Blyden said her ministry is committed to ensure the security of women. She cited the case of a young lady who was killed at the Lumley Beach that has been committed to the High Court due to evidence presented at the Magistrate Court. To end the news here once again are the main points. Over 100 tourists from 10 countries arrived in Sierra Leone. The College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences has celebrated its foundation day, marking 28 years of existence. And the second phase workshop of the Sierra Leone National Action Plan has commenced for councils in the north and western regions. That's the end of the news from the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation on FM 100. My name is Davida Gaba. Thanks for your time and goodbye.